Hello, this is Dylan Gelinas, and we're on the second of three videos. The first one was a tank, which we have right over here. This next one right here is a crab, and then the third video is going to be an arrow through the head. So let's get started on the crab. All you're going to need for this one is a Sharpie marker. Ooh, yeah, everyone's favorite. A white 260. Could be a 160, but I like using a 260. A red 260 and a five inch round red. Oh, okay, I'd like to thank uh, Don Caldwell for his Ladybug, uh, which is a inspiration, which was a uh, jumping off point for this one. Okay, it's a bracelet, by the way. Okay, so everyone loves a bracelet. So you're gonna inflate the red, leaving about, ooh, quite a bit. Um, I'd say that's about eight or eight fingers worth like give it a burp and it's tied off if you don't know a burp is when you just kind of like let a little bit of air out makes the balloon a little bit softer now you're going to start off by making a very small pinch twist a uh, half an inch is about right you're then going to make about a two inch bubble Fold it over, and this is a cloth, so you want the top one to be a little bit bigger, so you're going to make about a 3-inch bubble. Or depending on how big you made uh, the second bubble, but, um, that's, I jump, just, I go play it by ear. I trust you. So you should have something that looks like that, the little crab cloth. Now you're going to go over about an inch and a half make a twist, and then you're going to make another very small pinch twist. Like so. We're then going to go over about four inches and make a twist. Make another pinch twist. Same size. On this video, all pinch twists, uh, except for the eyes, will be um, half an inch. So make another pinch twist and then fold back over so the same size and twist it. We're now going to make four one inch bubbles. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to twist them back into the pinch twist on the other side. So So now you should have something that looks a bit like that, okay? So you're going to make a one inch bubble, and then you're basically going to recreate a cloth. So make a twist there. So just follow the instructions for the other cloth, and you should be fine. I normally like to make one cloth a little bit bigger, because, you know, where I live, Northern California, crabs have like a little cloth and a big cloth. But if um, people where you live in more custom scene, two same size cloths, do that. Okay. You gotta go regional, okay? Know what the people like. Now you're going to take the red round, inflate it all the way, and then let it out until you get to about there. So about the size of a good apple. The reason why you inflate it all the way is because it makes the balloon slightly easier to twist. Uh, if you don't, it, it can make them hard to grab. They're not loosened up first. So with the knot on this end, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here. This is the, the center. You want to go down to right about here. Now this is a very tricky part. Um, twisting around balloons is never very easy. I'm going to squeeze, pinch, and you gotta do it real fast or all the air is gonna escape on you. And you'll be left with just like a bit of like latex in your fingers. Twist it and you'll have a little bubble in your round. Take that and twist it into either one of the two pinch twists on the sides, right here or right here. Perfect. 
Now you're going to take the knotted end, see this part's easy, and you're just going to pull the knotted end and twist it into the other pin twist, the one that you didn't use. So you pull it over, and you wrap it around. This makes it so the shell is a little bigger on one side, which uh, along with the eyes that we're going to draw on, I think it adds a little bit of character. You know, you could make a, a small bubble in the knotted end, but then you wouldn't kind of get this effect. Now you're going to take the white. You need next to nothing of this. You're going to make two pinch twists, and that's it. Very small. Uh, make a uh, one inch pinch twists. Excellent. And then get rid of all there. Okay. Tie it off real nice and good. So now these two are going to become his eyes. And where you're going to put them is you've kind of got these lip looking things right here. You're going to stick them right in there. Just like that. And you're going to stretch uh, the white part over into one of the pinch twists and wrap it around. Try and get that hidden. So now you have what should appear to be two little eyes and this white part hanging down. This is going to become your bracelet. You're going to just pull this over to the other pinch twist and twist it in. So that part will become your bracelet. Now you take your Sharpie. This is a brand new Sharpie. Brand new. Because I can't find the other ones. You're going to take the Sharpie and I like to draw kind of cross eyes which basically means um, where the, where the line is between the two pinch twists, it just draw them kind of close to there. And looking down, so it should look something like that. Cute little crab. I believe a crab with one bigger arm than the other one is called a fiddler crab. But. I twist balloons. I'm not an expert on crabs. You put it on your wrist just like that. And there you are. Thanks for watching. Next video, arrow through the head. Very nice. Everyone loves it. Hit at the party. And we'll be back in a minute. See you then.